form-fitting dress at the royal wedding, what not to wear as a wedding guest, and twinning with Arizona green tea? Yikes. If looks can kill, we're dead after peeping these jaw-dropping outfits from Pippa Middleton. It was the look that made Pippa Middleton a household name, and the world's most famous maid of honor. Dressed in a curve-hugging Alexander McQueen gown, she managed to upstage her royal sister Kate at her own highly anticipated wedding. That's quite a feat. So fascinated were fans with Pippa's booty that she was soon given the nickname Her Royal Hotness, and even landed on People's List of the biggest body moments of 2011. Middleton was also apparently a boon to the plastic surgery industry, causing a spike in surgical butt lifts that year, according to ABC News. Move over Kim Kardashian! As a Miami plastic surgeon told Good Morning America at the time, In this wedding gown, she's created a little bit of a stir, uh, and people wanting those kind of dimensions. She's just gorgeous. The doctor claimed that after the royal wedding aired, demand for butt lifts at his practice grew exponentially, with a considerable portion of women hoping to attain Middleton's perky assets. Girls all over the world are wishing they had a bottom quite like Pippa's. <laughs> While Middleton admitted to Matt Lauer on The Today Show that the unexpected fame from her backside was, quote, embarrassing, she at least seemed to have a sense of humor about all of it. In 2014, she publicly addressed the hype over her booty, joking via the mirror, in retrospect, the dress fits a little too well. As I have found out, recognition has its upside, its downside, and, you may say, its backside. Good one, Pippa. Freezing temperatures didn't stop Middleton from showing off her svelte figure in a sheer dress at London's Sugar Plum Ball in November 2013. Paired with a sequined jacket and purple chandelier earrings, the black embroidered Art Deco style gown was a head turner that night. Middleton topped off her look with an updo, fresh natural makeup, and an understated application of her signature black eyeliner. Referring to the ensemble, Marie Claire published the brazen headline, Pippa Middleton breaks all the royal rules in sexy sheer dress. And it seems that she did just that. Royals like Will and Kate have a laundry list of strict dress codes to follow. For example, women's dresses should never be shorter than their knees. And even though Pippa Middleton isn't technically a royal, and she doesn't have to follow the same protocol as her sister, it doesn't matter. Haters still gonna hate. If there's one place where Middleton feels right at home in public, it's Wimbledon. She's been spotted dozens of times at the event over the years, sometimes playing it safe in a white flutter-sleeve sundress or doing it up for the cameras in a short, form-fitting floral design. But paparazzi had a field day when Middleton had a near-wardrobe malfunction at the semi-finals in 2019. Wearing a yellow sunflower-printed wrap dress, Middleton recovered gracefully as a gust of wind threatened to uncover more than just her leg, but no big deal. The same thing almost happened back in 2016, too. So, what could possibly be more attention-grabbing than that? Well, for one thing, a see-through dress, worn in broad daylight. On day three of the 2017 Wimbledon Championships, Middleton's pink lace look was so transparent that she reportedly needed, quote, an underskirt and sheer top panel to cover up, according to InStyle. If your big sis is a duchess and a worldwide fashion icon, why wouldn't you want to follow in her footsteps? At Princess Charlotte's christening in 2015, onlookers had to do a double take to determine whether they were looking at Kate Middleton or Pippa. Kate wore a cream-colored Alexander McQueen dress, paired with a matching fascinator by Jane Taylor and nude pumps, and Pippa looked nearly the same in her ensemble. The only giveaway? Pippa wasn't the one pushing a baby in a stroller. But it's not the only time the two have swiped the other's look. Kate visited New Zealand wearing a popping blue dress in 2014 that looked eerily similar to one of Pippa's wedding guest outfits the year before. They also both enjoy a very fluffy hat for chilly weather. Fun fact, their mum Carol even has one. We have a very normal sisterly relationship. Uh, very, we're very close. While Pippa and Kate obviously share a tight-knit relationship, their look-alike style brings new meaning to the term sisterly bond. One of Middleton's biggest fashion moments wasn't for doing something wrong, but rather for doing something right, at least by the Queen's high standards. It involved pantyhose. Love or hate nude stockings, Queen Elizabeth is apparently a big fan, and Middleton's choice to wear them was a win. Royal expert Victoria Arbiter explained to Insider in 2017, you never see a royal without their nude stockings. I would say that's really the only hard, steadfast rule in terms of what the Queen requires. In 2012, 
at one of the promotional events of her first book, Celebrate, a year of festivities for families and friends, Middleton looked classy and chic in a tweed Stella McCartney dress, nude stockings, and bulb black pumps. For the record, The Telegraph reported that sales for nude pantyhose increased by up to 85% in 2011, thanks to the Middleton sisters. Middleton has served us some serious looks over the years, but her wedding guest wardrobe just may take the cake including the stunning blue Kate Spade dress she wore to Lady Gabriella Windsor and Thomas Kingston's wedding in 2019. But as much as she seems to enjoy attending an event, she also, without fail, steals the spotlight at them. The Kate Spade dress nearly sold out in less than a week, according to Glamour UK, proving that the Pippa effect is just as real as the Kate effect. I am looking for Pippa Middleton's dress. Okay. Still, some outfits haven't been as well received as her infamous bridesmaid look once was. In 2013, while attending the nuptials of Lady Melissa Percy and Thomas Van Strubensee, Middleton wore a fitted black and white dress and a pillbox style fascinator. But as royal stylist Charlie Anderson told the Daily Beast, this black and white wedding outfit is not bad, but it still manages to miss the mark. Is it the matchy matchy accessories? or just the lack of a modern, flattering cut that does it. Wearing a jaw-dropping red dress with a plunging neckline to the Boodles boxing ball in 2011, Middleton may have beat out just about everyone in the cleavage department, and that's including former Spice Girl Jerry Halliwell, who also donned a similar low-cut red dress. While the fundraising event raked in the cash, with the table going for roughly $2,500 per the mirror, the bad news was that all eyes were on Middleton, According to Daily Mail style director Liz Jones, the dress is completely inappropriate. I hate cleavage at the best of times and Pippa cannot now really object to any comments about her shape or hounding by the press as this dress says, look at me. At Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018, Middleton found herself caught in another media spectacle for looking pretty much exactly like an Arizona green tea. Middleton, who was then pregnant with her first child, wore a mint green floral dress with a high neckline and long sleeves. And of course, the internet didn't miss a beat. You're right, the computer business is too competitive. Twitter was abuzz with cheeky comments and memes comparing the dress to a can of Arizona green tea. Around the same time, the brand launched its cherry blossomed merch pop-up. According to BizBash, the company itself even tweeted, Pippa got you feeling thirsty? Stop by the Great Buy 99 pop-up for a free can of the real thing. Middleton channeled her inner retro chic when she attended the 2016 Wimbledon Championships, wearing a geometric shift dress. And it was by far Middleton's boldest look for the tournament. Prior to that, she had usually opted for romantic floral prints, sweet neutral tones, or a timeless and classic black and white. The eye-catching orange ensemble would have been a statement dress at any event. But at Wimbledon, it was practically forbidden. Adding to the misstep, Middleton sat in the royal box, where spectators are encouraged to appear more formal, according to the Evening Standard. If Middleton was looking to turn heads and raise a few eyebrows, she definitely did it. While Middleton's look typically leans conservative, she has occasionally taken advantage of not having royal dress protocols to follow. And shockingly, some of her most daring looks have been featured at charity events. Looking every bit the fashion icon, Middleton arrived at the 2015 Boodles Boxing Ball in London wearing a bright blue Jenny Packham gown, which featured a halter neck and a cutout that showed a hint of skin below her bust. So what was the problem? Well, rocking revealing dresses, especially to formal public events, could have contributed to Middleton's socialite and party girl reputation. As she told the Daily Mail in 2016, People see me as someone privileged who has used my position to advantage. That I don't really work, that I'm a socialite, that word really irritates me. And that I'm a party girl without any substance. I work very hard. I'm true to my values. I just try to live a normal life, like many of my friends. Just to sort of keep bouncing back and carrying on and trying not, not to let it affect you it is hard. Let's be honest. If there's one place where superstitions are often honored, it's at a wedding. While most abide by the tradition that only the bride wears white, some may be unaware that wearing green to a wedding is thought to be bad luck, as Bustle noted. In Irish tradition, green attracts fairies, and not the good kind. When are you going to tell me that I'm cursed? Well, 
It looks like Middleton didn't get the memo. In 2017, she wore a teal knee-length dress adorned with a large embroidered flower to the nuptials of longtime friend Camilla Campion Award and Oliver Jenkinson. But green to a wedding in Ireland is an absolute no-no. In fact, according to National Geographic, green, despite its popular associations with St. Patrick's Day, is generally considered an unlucky colour among the Irish, even if it looks amazing with your skin tone. Middleton made the same mistake again in 2018 when she arrived at Princess Eugenie's royal wedding and wore a dark green dress with a matching hat. Still, she certainly wasn't the only one seemingly tempting fate, including the bride's own mother, Fergie. We'll forgive Pippa, however, since she was nine months pregnant and rocking four-inch heels, according to Elle. Princess Eugenie and her hubby, Jack Brooksbank, were still together as of 2022, so it appears the evil fairies appreciated the effort with the heels as well. Not to be outdone by her previous revealing dresses, Middleton wowed in another deep v-neck gown for the inaugural Paris Snow Ball in 2015. Her makeup and hair were fresh and natural, and the pastel blue hue was highly flattering of her olive skin. But of course, she wasn't going to get away with anything that easily. Though many outlets praised the look, they also commented on how flashy and revealing it was. Still, Middleton was there to support a good cause, to raise money for Disability Snowsport UK, which helps differently abled athletes participate in winter sports. In a speech she gave at the event, Middleton noted, As a keen skier myself, I feel very passionately about enabling those with a disability to experience the joy of skiing alongside able-bodied people. In February of 2019, four months after the birth of her son, Middleton attended a different charity event, the British Heart Foundation's Beating Hearts Ball, marking her first public appearance since becoming a new mum, according to Cosmo UK. She turned heads in a stunning floor-length gown, featuring a multicoloured design and a high neckline with a large black bow in the front. Had she turned a new leaf and embraced mum life? Would we ever see her booty splashed across the tabloids again? However her fashion evolves from here, we know one thing's for sure. This royal-in-law is a stone-cold showstopper wherever she goes. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favourite royal siblings are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.